hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video today's video is a video honoring somebody from black history i had did a segment on this last year and i think i did four people for the month of february so t i'm bringing it back this year okay and today's person is who is cicely tyson now she recently just passed but she has contributed so much to the black community and we gonna talk about miss tyson okay so guys if y'all watching please make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions comment down below if y'all like to see me do some more of these people and let me know in the comment section who you would like to see next i'm gonna try to get as many as i can done for the month of february if not i can do what i can okay so yeah let's go get on into it i'm excited because it's so interesting to get to learn about people and the uh, accomplishments they've done throughout the years and help them get to where they are so yeah we're gonna get right on into it i got my notes written down on the paper it's a lot but we're gonna get it in okay so who is Cicely Tyson? Hmm. Well, Cicely Tyson was born and raised here in New York, but East Harlem, New York. Her birthday is actually December 19th, 1924. Wow. That's just marvelous. Like my grandmother, she was born 1929. And the fact that she surpassed my grandmother says a lot like she persevered and kept it going she was 96 years old that's a huge accomplishment a very huge accomplishment i'm trying to get to 96 or better for me but let's go and get on into this so she was the daughter of frederica huggins Tyson, because she married her, her father, I believe, um, a domestic worker, and her father was William Augustine Tyson, who worked as a carpenter and a painter. So you know he ha you know how to renovate stuff and get stuff looking brand new. Mm -hmm. She was one of three children. Her parents were immigrants from Navies in the West Indies. Okay, she got Caribbean blood in her. Her father arrived in New York at the age of 21 and was possessed at Ellis Island. Mm, I did not know that. On August 4th, 1919. Oh, wow. So basically before she was born. Okay. Settled down. Some roots. Okay. She grew up in a religious atmosphere. I mean, she must have been in the church a lot. Um, She also sung in the choir. <laughs> And attended prayer meetings and at an Episcopal church in East Harlem. She had dreams of becoming an actress, but her mom didn't like like that until she saw her performance day. So she was like, um, you might have a backup plan. But once she saw how good she was like, she probably became around and was like, okay, I see you doing your thing. All right. I support it. Um... Tyson was was discovered by a photographer for Ebony Magazine and became a successful fashion model. Go girl. She then began acting, began acting. Her first TV role was in Frontiers of Faith in 1951 and her first film role was in Carib Gold in 1956. That was a great movie. She did awesome in that performance. Ugh, gorgeous exquisite mm -hmm. she became known for her betrayal of strong african-american women on and off the screen so what she said she was going to set out to do she did it power to the black people 
more importantly to black women because black women was always shut down for trying to do a certain thing or do a certain or act a certain way it was always like if you're not white we don't want it and that's exactly how it was then and it's still like that now so the fact that she stood up for black women in general is a kudos because that's incredible and an awesome accomplishment okay um she vowed to do to do it in the right way refusing to perpetuate the stereotypes and negative images coming out of hollywood period put some respect on my name and my face okay and the color of my skin mm-hmm you don't want you don't want me to do it because I want to do it this way. Fine, I'll go find somebody else who will do it, who will let me do what I want to do, basically. And that she did. Mm -hmm. In her own words, she, um, she said, "I was determined to do all I could to alter the narrative about black people to change the way black women, in particular, were perceived by reflecting our dignity." Period. That commitment to herself was a commitment to us, and we love her for it. Yes, we do, Miss Cicely Tyson. Thank you, even though I'm not in the acting field or whatever. But the fact that she helped pave the way for other black female actresses, models, whatever the case may be, help put them on the map by showing them what they can do, showing them what they should not do. <sighs> mm. She she got it hands down. Mm, mm, mm. Hands down, she did her thing. Like, wow. She is truly an icon. And it's sad. Ooh, got me tearing up. Mm -mm. Ooh, ooh, this really touched me. She was looking fierce up until her age of 96. Mm -mm -mm. She empowers us to let our own unique style and beauty shine through. Wow, she did it so eloquently and gracefully with respect. Like, and one thing I did not know, I did not know she was married to Miles Davis. Like, they had a relationship going on back in the day. I was just like, what? Okay. And she got married to him, too. I was like, hmm. And she also leaves behind a daughter. She, she don't really talk about her much, but she does leave behind a daughter. I'm not sure if she got any grandkids or whatever. But, yeah. Cicely Tyson was definitely an icon. She has won over a lot of awards. I didn't even, like... Yeah, this she's won a lot. She got a, a, a Golden Globe, a Tony, uh, and she got the. She just recently got the Civilian Award last year, and Barack Obama put it on her neck. Oh my God, that was just so iconic. Whew, what a way to for the black for the black community. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Just thinking about it, ooh, bringing some tears to my eyes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We will definitely miss you, Cicely Tyson. Thank you once again for help paving the way for others. Thank you for setting the example of how things should go. And what to expect. Don't take no, don't take anything less than what you put up for to go through. Because there's no need for, for for the negativity and for the down talk and downplay of others just so you can build yourself up. Ain't, ain't no way for that. It's definitely not. <sighs> Rest in eternal peace and continue to shine. <sighs> You're a beautiful light on all of us. Oh, this thing is tearing me up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never met this lady a day in my life, but oh my gosh. <sighs> me and Death, we don't get along. Like, I could be watching TV and I see something happening, you know, 
it's, it's the empathy in me that gets me this way. But, oh, you would truly be missed. You would truly, 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 truly be missed. Mm -mm -mm. So, guys, I'm done. Happy Black History Month to you all. For those who do celebrate, power to the people. My black Nubian queens and kings out there in the world. But like I said, if y'all enjoyed this and y'all would like for me to do some more of these, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. Oh, and before. And then we'll also be doing... No, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, comment down below. And also hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. Because y'all would want to post. This is Black History, but we got to put knowledge into these people's brains so they can understand and see where we be coming from. Okay? And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.